The Eagles making what I think is a significant acquisition, yeah. going out and trading for Robert Quinn from the Bears. The unbeaten Eagles adding to their arsenal, bolstering what is already a great defensive line. And I tell you what, Graziano, you used to cover baseball. And you know what yes. this reminds me of a little bit? There was a moment in time when there was an arms race in the American League East between the oh, Yankees yeah. and the Red Sox, I right? Remember. They got somebody. We got to get somebody. We got to counter. The Cowboys, I'm just going to say it right now. They've got four days, five days, however far away next Tuesday is, to make a move. The Eagles are all in. They make the big trade here. I believe the Cowboys need to find some way to go out there and make a, 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 motor, a, a move that is consequential mm -hmm. for this season. What do you think? I don't think that they will, but I, I do have to point Why out. Why would that you they... say that like that? Why, I'm all excited. Why would you say I don't think that they will? <laughs> Ask me a question and I answered him. Am I supposed to they, lie to you? They need to do it. Their owner is 80. This is their window. The entire NFC stinks besides the one team they're chasing. You know that they made a trade on Tuesday? Like, they, they added a defensive lineman, Jonathan Hankins from the Raiders. That's a pretty good player in terms yeah. of stopping the run. It's not as flashy as the edge rusher and Robert Quinn, a name everybody knows. But, look, the cap, everybody goes back to the year they traded for Amari Cooper. And it worked. And it worked. They needed a number one receiver. They needed any receiver. And he was a number one, and he was young. They thought it's a first-round pick. He's still very young. He's better than anybody we'd take in the first round next year. He can help us right now and in the future, and they're right about all that. So if a deal like that was out there, sure. But tell me who that player is. Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy? Really? Yeah. Like he's established himself as not a number for a one first, receiver? No, no. Uh, not for a first-round pick. They don't need a number one receiver. They need another receiver. Michael uh, Gallup had a combined total of zero points, zero catches, zero fantasy points. I was going to say, that now it knows. sounds like yeah, you're talking about something. Well, take it from one who knows. <laughs> Michael Gallup got me zero on DraftKings on Sunday. Thanks a lot. This but sounds point, personal now. No, but the point is, they're... they're that offense last year was special. And it then was. they traded Amari Cooper for a fifth-round pick to the Cleveland Browns. That was a financially driven decision. And let's that. just see. But that's my point is that the moment to push your chips to the center of the table has come. There were like three good teams in the entire NFC, yeah. and they're one of them. This is their moment for the Cowboys. I got no buyers over here. How do I look on this side? <laughs> They're not going to trade away a top pick because then you're going to lose your draft equity. So if they can get, I don't know, you said in the, in the production meeting, like a Bourne type player. Kendrick Bourne. Kendrick Bourne yeah, type so player for a six round pick. Sure, like a little addition, a good piece. I'll take it. A little I'll piece. take Kendrick Bourne. But, but I would say this the Eagles and Quinn, that was, that was a heck of a move. Yes, it was. Because a pass rusher is one of the easiest things to just transfer, to, go to a new team, put your hand on the ground. Go get that guy with the ball. Go oh, get yeah. the quarterback. The receiver position, if you trade for a receiver, it's going to be three to five weeks before that guy feels comfortable enough in the system or he could go out there, say they run no huddle, say they run something that's fast tempo. He's, it's going to take a bit to learn. So I, I think that a receiver position, if you're going to go with a, a higher draft pick, it has to be a big-time possession receiver that you could say, hey, run a fade. You throw the ball up to him. And I don't know if anyone out there is available that big in that type of player. That's why, historically, there hasn't been as much activity at the NFL trade deadline as the baseball one. Right. You can't just, like, trade for a second baseman. Right. And then he comes and he plays second base. Like, I you understand. have to learn the new offense, new defense, whatever it is. Here's all I will say. Yeah. That the way everything has shaped up, and they won four games with the backup quarterback yeah. and they get Dak Prescott back and you look at the landscape of the NFC. I will say right now, anything short of the NFC championship game will yeah. be a disappointment for this Cowboys team. They are clearly <laughs> good enough to be sitting there in the NFL's final four this year. And if they don't, that was a failure. But if they believe that about themselves, then they don't have the desperation to make a move. The year they got Amari Cooper, they felt like they weren't good enough and they had to do something. I think as what we've seen this year from them indicates to them that they are good enough, that they are one of the best teams in the NFC. Well, we'll see. I mean, I mean, look, they were, what were they, 14 seconds away last year against San Francisco, and who knows that one player can make a 14-second difference. I'll take Kendrick Bourne if that's the best <laughs> you offer me. All right. The ball we will the have, give the ball to the ref. Much more. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.